Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading for single Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and then also if you're spying on a Virgo. I personally like to watch moon signs the best for love readings, um, but you can watch what you want, and there's a description in the description box below this video, there's a link to figure out what your moon sign, your rising sign, blah, 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 is if you don't know that. Okay, so this reading is going to be about what does your love life look like in general between, between what date? between March 15th today and April 15th. It's also going to look at like, what is it that you think you want in regards to love versus what you actually need in regards to love. Try to reconcile the difference there. Um, how are other people perceiving you in regards to love? Like, you know, you meet somebody, what do they think is your deal? And then um, the best course of action in order to draw in what it is you want to bring in your soulmate, your twin flame, or you know, your booty call, whatever you feel like you're in the mood for. And then also, how is the Mercury retrograde that's happening from March 22nd to April 15th, so basically this whole fucking reading, um, going to affect you? Because if you remember, Mercury retrogrades are all about like, you know, maybe X is coming back. Is that going to be a good idea? Is it not? Um, sometimes it's about hardship, difficulty, frustration, tech glitches, you know, things like that. So we want to navigate this as best as possible. So we're going to look at that also. So let's get started. Okay, Virgo, before I forget, because I keep forgetting, is um, if you're interested in winning a 20-minute video reading, you just sign up at my website one time, and then you're entered for, like, ever, because I pull those once a month. Um, if you're looking at mobile to do it, it's like a little green smiley face uh, icon at the bottom. Um, I'm also going to be doing readings in April, I think, for free on YouTube Live. I did one for Valentine's Day, but I don't have like a way to tell you when I'm gonna do those via YouTube. So if you follow on Facebook, then um, I'll probably post the event there so you can know when to show up. If you're subscribed, like they'll uh, send you like a little alert when it's time to start. If you're not, whatever. If you don't give a shit, cool. Um, whatever. But anyway, just letting you know I'm gonna do that. What else did I wanna tell you? I think that's it. <laughs> okay, let's get to the good stuff. like in general for Virgos and they're saying um you know I think that money home like stuff like that it's less of a priority for you if you're a single Virgo than it has been and they're like all of a sudden things are going to start changing really quickly for you in regards to your love life your soulmate could be coming oh my gosh Virgos everybody wants to be a fucking Virgo the March reading was amazing like hey you're manifesting all these wonderful things I think the February reading was similar. Hey, you're manifesting all of these wonderful things. It is crazy the streak that you are on. You're a single Virgo and like that might be the only thing missing from your life because now you've got new abundance. You've got luck. You've got health. You've got a brand new car. You know, you're buying your first home. You just launched your business and it's instantly successful. And boom, now you have a soulmate. Oh my cow. This is amazing. This is so cool. <laughs> lucky oh that was something I should tell Virgos in specific so there were a lot of you that were like oh you sold your um green calcite that was for the stone of the month for March for Virgos because yeah I only had one like that was the one I pulled but um I did get more and I am posting those so if you want that you should be able to get it soon so my apologies Sorry, um, I'm trying to get like more organized with my Virgo rising side of myself. Um, but you know, like my emotional Scorpio moon side is fucking things up a little bit. My creative Leo side is like taking my mind in a thousand directions at once. But I'm trying to be more Virgo because obviously your energy is something good to tap into. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of what your month looks like in general. Now, this is a general reading, so is every single person going to meet their soulmate and connect with them, like, boom, overnight? Hopefully. <laughs> um, maybe not, but hopefully. Okay, so what is it that you think you want in regards to love? They're saying, like, you don't want to be in a relationship that's, like, 
My girl likes to party all the time. You know, you want something that um, is not necessarily super predictable all the time, but but you don't want something that's like too wild and drunken. Um, you want something that like sounds like a good choice, not just to you, but to other people. The other people could go, oh yeah, um, good good match there. <laughs> you know, instead of like, oh my gosh, did you see so-and-so's like new partner? They are just such an alcoholic. You know, you don't want you don't want something like that. Okay, so what is it that you actually need though? And they're saying somebody who like kind of makes you want to go out though a little bit more like that's a tricky balance like so you don't want like somebody who like you know uh what's the phrase it's throws caution to the wind maybe and they're just like party all the time they're always having a good time they never take anything serious you don't want that but at the same time you do need someone who um helps you release a little bit you know sometimes you can be a little bit too serious Sometimes you need to be a little less focused on, you know, work and organization and keeping your house clean and beautiful or whatever. Like somebody who kind of takes you on adventures in a certain way, but you're looking for that happy medium. And as I say that five minutes and 55 seconds into the video, which is all about like 555 is a number message of like out with the old in with the new. So as we're embracing all this new energy, our old ways of doing things that have gotten us to this place of like luck and harmony and all these wonderful blessings coming in. Now take a second and enjoy them. Okay. Enjoy them to the fullest capacity in the safest way possible though. Like don't abandon your Virgo self, <laughs> but, but you know, have a little bit more fun is essentially what they're saying. Um, how are other people perceiving you? And they're not perceiving you as like somebody who works way too hard. They're not perceiving you as somebody who is zero fun, who's a fun killer or anything like that. So don't get that idea. Um, they're not perceiving you as somebody who is disharmonious, who causes drama or problems. They're just viewing you as like very, um, you're kind of this energy that people look at and admire, but like are intimidated by in, um, in a very classy way like it's not like oh she's too hot or too classy like or um or too sexy or whatever like i can't talk to her or him it's more like this person is you have like a very like prince or princess energy like sort of regal right like like um i don't know how to say i don't know that there's a good word for this in english it's like um because you're not necessarily like prissy or snobby, but well put together, I guess. They view you as like very well put together, like very organized, like, like a, I don't know, like, like very Virgo, I guess. Like you dress well, your hair is always perfect. Like they view you as perfect, I guess. I I'm struggling to find the word. If anybody else knows the word, <laughs> put it in the comment below because that might help other people understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Cool. Okay. Thanks guys. Thanks team. Um, what's the best course of action in order to get what you want this month? And they're like, just go out and find it. Be excited about it. Be enthused about it and make sure that you're getting enough sleep. <laughs> Easy. So this is like um, double... This is like two different things, right? Like go out, have fun, be seen, be excited for all the new possibilities and things that are coming your way, right? But then make sure that you're getting adequate rest because when that's when spirit works on us. That's when they heal any blockages that we have, any things that are kind of like fucked up within us on a subconscious level that inhibit us from drawing in the love that we want. So they're like make sure that you're getting quality sleep, that you're getting enough sleep and, um, you know, for long enough hours, things like that. They're like, you kind of have to like go out and do fun things, but then also sort of chill. <laughs> It's a tricky balance. It really is. But like, who cares? Because there's all these wonderful new things coming. And so if you can maintain enthusiasm and excitement for that, those things will definitely show up. So they're saying, um, you know, it doesn't have to be like your idea. You don't have to plot and plan how you're going to meet this person. Spirit's just going to hook it up for you. But you do have to be willing to say yes. When a friend asks you like, hey, you want to come out for a happy hour? Uh-huh. 
you know, hey, do you want to go for, um, do you want to rent bicycles and, and go for like a trail ride with me? Even though it's like a friend of the same gender and, and you're into the opposite gender or, or like whatever, it doesn't seem like the day that you would meet your match. It very well could be. Okay. So, um, Hey, do you want to meet me to go over these files at the coffee shop instead of in our office? Um, yeah, just be open to that kind of a thing. It doesn't have to be your idea. You can't control it, but kind of go with the flow intuitively and, um, show up for other people. And then when you're at home, use that time to rest instead of like, you know, really organizing your whole life. They say that you're coming to this, the reason why all this lucky stuff is coming through, and this is a number message, is because you're coming to the end of a cycle to start a new one. So like everything that was hard or shitty before, like that's done. And now this is new and exciting and wonderful stuff coming through for you. Like karmically, you earned it. So bravo. Okay. What else did I want to talk about? Um, how is this Mercury retrograde going to affect you? And they're saying, um, well, that's part of the reason why we're telling you like things should, exciting things or like places you should go or do or, you know, where you should be shouldn't be your idea because in Mercury retrogrades, things go wrong, right? Like you might put something into your map. And then you're driving and then you're following the map exactly the way as it tells you to navigate. But then there's unexpected road construction and then you end up late. Like that, those are the kind of things that happen in a Mercury retrograde. Or like um, your internet service is slow, you know, or X's come back. But anyway, they're like any ideas that you have, they, they just wouldn't work out the right way. So just, just go where other people invite you. <laughs> Um, what else? They say really try to connect to spirit this month. Um, as you know, with the Pisces and everything energy, there I'll try to put that video, like a link in the description box if I remember, because this is important if you didn't see that. Um, when your emotions might be a little bit here, a little bit there, you don't know how to discern things. Everybody's a little bit more psychic and connected to spirit this month, whether they realize it or not. And so if you really lean into that energy and you can really trust your own um, self and your own intuition, like you're going to be in the right place at the right time. And so what they're saying is you don't have to do very much in like, in regards to like sort of I think it was Scorpio also had a really positive reading, like where their soulmate could show up, but they have to do the work, right? Like they have to like take their heart chakra, open it up and like kind of suck their partner into them. And they're like, you, you just show up. You don't have to do shit. Easy. Because Virgos are on a roll, on a karmic roll of blessings. Yay. Um, I guess that's really it. <laughs> In regards to the retrograde, like anything else you need to know or be aware of. And they're like... No, you just, you do you. You're doing everything right. Bravo. Um, an area of focus or, or something for those of you who don't feel like this is totally resonating with you. You're not quite there yet. They're saying rituals are important. So again, kind of coming back to that whole idea of really trusting spirit, trusting your own gut intuition, like being calm and still and then connecting to them however you do that. Some people do it through running, some people through prayer, some people through tarot card readings, some people do it, you know, everybody's got their own method. Some people do it through yoga. So whatever it is, do that, like kind of cleanse your energy, be calm and still and peaceful first. And then once you're kind of in that energy, you know, like honestly, personally, I think that runners highs, um, people talk about them. And they're like, yeah, like my mind gets so clear and whatever. I've never experienced that, but like I can probably run like four feet before I die. So, um, so to me, it's always kind of seemed like a fallacy. <laughs> like people who love running, they don't really love running. Like they just tell everybody they do so that they start to believe that they do themselves. Because you've heard that joke, right? Like how can you tell if somebody's a runner? Or how can you tell if somebody's a vegetarian? Because they'll tell you. <laughs> But anyway, not to bag on runners and stuff. Like, if you know, my point is when you get in that zone, okay, when you're in prayer, when you're um, connecting through tarot or rune stones or whatever the fuck, yoga, when you get to this place where you're like a, in a clear place of mind, okay, this is when you're going to want to just put a little ask out to the universe, to God, Allah, spirit, angels, whatever, whatever you believe, hey, yo, any pain that's holding me down or holding me back, can you release it? You know, um, 
can we close the door on things from the past so I can fully embrace and walk through this new one? And then just like affirming to yourself, I am ready to move forward. Like I am ready to go on these new adventures. I am ready for whatever spirit's trying to dish out to me. Because there are going to be a few of you Virgos that go, oh, this doesn't make sense to me. This isn't happening for me. Why, why isn't this working for me when it seems to be working for every other Virgo? Because you have that negative mindset. Because you're in this place where you haven't released the past yet. So maybe try the Chords of Attachment video that's in the description box below. But um because we, you might be attached to negative patterns or thinking, behaviors, biases, um, relationships from the past. Maybe there are people like, oh, well, they did something unforgivable to me. I can't forgive them. Well, you fucking have to if you want to have this awesome life that the rest of the Virgos are having. You know, maybe you can't forgive yourself for something. Well, you have to. You have to release it if you want all of this awesome shit because we've got money. We've got like opportunity. We have all of these awesome things coming through in our March general video as well as a soulmate now if you're single. Hell yeah, why wouldn't you want that? So think about it. Get in the zone. Ask for help in releasing it if you can't release that shit yourself. Um, and even see a therapist or a counselor if you need to. Whatever you need to do because all of this energy is right here for you to grab it. But it's up to you if you want to grab it or not, right? So, awesome news. Um, I wish all of you either the most amazing relationship ever coming through, like, overnight. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. And I also wish you a lot of healing if you're one of the Virgos who needs it. Ciao! Oh, see you in April for general readings again. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!